Hi guys, Matt from the Big River here. We got more fish this week. We got a couple of orders came in. Let's see what they look like. Uh, first up, we have bags of fish. Big surprise that. Uh, these are Geophagus species Alto Sinu, or they also call them a gold dust Geophagus. Got a couple different types of earth eating cichlids in for this week. So hopefully, well, and here's another batch of them right here. Uh, these are your Sintaporca japari, or your regular old Jurapari. These ones out of Peru. Actually, wild caught fish. Nice looking. Uh, reticulated hill stream loaches. Got to have them. We go through reticulated hill stream loaches rather quickly around here. So good to have. Great uh, hill stream loach. Here we got a fire eel. It's a baby, but it's not a tiny baby. Nice looking fat belly on a fire eel. Remember, that guy's going to get 40 plus inches. So, I mean, that big. And really, we have one that was this big around and that long. They really do get that big. All right, next up, uh, Royal Blue Dwarf Verami. Uh, Royal du Blue Dwarf Verami is one of four colors that we regularly get in Dwarf Verami. About a three inch fish. When they say dwarf, they don't mean one inch, they mean like three. It's got some bettos, uh, a couple really cool ones. And if I get stuck looking at those, we will be here all day, so I'm not going to do that. But we'll come down and take a look at them. We'll have them in cups this afternoon. Uh, this is a Marble Biker. Uh, marble Biker or the Plepterus palmus. One of about nine species, depending on where you make the division between species and subspecies, uh, bikers or bichers, however you want to pronounce that. Uh, super red cockatoides. These are an epistogramma, obviously. Uh, restocking those guys. Those are our very best selling epistogrammas by far. And let's see, we got some gold ring danios. Those are on the other end of the scale. These are nano fish, only get about an inch and a quarter, maybe. Uh, gold rings are very, very fun little fish. These guys are tiny right now, but they'll get a little bigger than your gold rings. These are the green neon tetras. Restock on those. Remember, those are on our tetra special. Buy four or more, get 25% off any of your tetras just for subscribing to our channel. And that's that box. Let's pop over and grab another box here. See what other wild and crazy treasures await. Uh, next up, big bag. What's in the big bag? Uh, little fish, roseline sharks. Roseline sharks don't do low oxygen well, so they bag them particularly deep to make sure they get here in good shape. One of our best selling shark type fishes. Rubber lip pleco, those are the 444s, if you're keeping track of the L numbers. The L444 rubber lip pleco only get about this big. They like cooler water, high oxygen. Uh, very neat little pleco. Actually, a good little algae eater. Borelli blue, another pistogram. I got three different types of apistos on this week's order. So those are the Borelli blues. Got the super red cockatoides and another one coming. Um, get to a different thing altogether. Here's a pleco. We're known for having lots and lots of types of plecos and got to looking around. We were missing a few. That's an L201, which is your polka dot pleco. Got a couple of those. Yeah, here's another one of those. Uh, very popular pleco. Not a very good algae eater, but very pretty. Uh, here's a guy we've been out of for a couple days. It's an African butterfly fish. Those guys will sit right at the top of your water. Either do them one by themselves or do them in a pretty big bunch in a bigger tank. They can get about yay big. Very fun little fish, but they are good flyers. Uh, zebra autos, another great algae eater. Zebra autos have the nice stripes on them. Uh, one of about four or five species of auto we have in stock right now. Uh, and then here's some more cichlids. We've got the Honduran Red Point cichlid. Restock on those guys. Been selling a lot of those lately. They're actually a Central American cichlid. Don't get particularly big. Um, not too far off of... Uh, the convict cichlid actually kind of in the same family but they're not nearly as aggressive here's uh congo tetras these are baby congos let's see if it looks like sometimes you get a little larger grow out babies and they pick all the females out looks like it's pretty heavy on the females but in impressive tetra either way we got the large males in there too that you can uh, add to that group here are axel Radi Rizi, or the Ruby Tetra. Have not had these in stock in quite a while. Ruby Tetra is a little silver tetra that turns firecracker red, or ruby, when they get a little bit bigger. Uh, very, very cool little nano tetra, and also on the Tetra Special. Alrighty, here we go again. We got, uh, looks like four more boxes. Got some really cool stuff on this week, uh, including some stuff we haven't had for a while, and a couple things have been hard to get. Uh, these are not. These are green Tiger barbs, which are cool, but they're not particularly hard to get. We have them all the time. Keep those stocked in because they make such a beautiful display. 
in a semi-aggressive or larger community tank. Uh, spotted Cory or Corydoris ambicus, um, not always available, but they have been this year, so we've been getting them. Nice, handsome looking hooded Cory. Uh, another very popular fish, get one just about every week, sometimes two. These are black ghost knives. Remember, this guy's gonna be 14 inches. When we say 14 inches, I mean, that's like 14 inches, not like this. They, they'll be a pretty good sized animal. Uh, if you train them early, they tend to not eat your fish. If you don't, they tend to, so make sure you have the appropriate tank for them. Uh, black mollies have been awfully popular, so we got some more of those. Got a couple different types of mollies on this order. Uh, mollies, remember, are a three inch fish. Here's some gold ones. Uh, you can actually acclimate those to salt water. They'll do brackish, fresh, or salt water. Uh, but remember, about a three inch fish. So it's actually kind of good at picking it out here. Um, and more quarries. What kind of quarries have we got? Oh, yeah. These guys have not been available at least a year. These are the horseman's quarry. And you can't probably see them in the film, but if you come look at them in person, they look like they got light blue eyeshadow on. Such a pretty, pretty quarry. A little on the spendy side, but very cool. Lots of quarries on this order. Quarry season seems to be in full swing. We have Axelrod's quarry, a uh, nice stripey quarry. Not quite like a Malini or the Bandits. So you got kind of a double stripe rather than a single stripe. So very neat fish. Uh, Panda Apisto, I promised you more Apistos, and here's another one. This is the Nijinsi, uh, not the Panduro which is also sometimes called a panda a pistol. So there's that box, and let's see what other treasure we'll untroll. All right, next up we have uh, more, well, those are not geophagus. These are actually an Akara. These are the Threadfin Akara. I kind of have the same body shape as most your geophagus, but with a more center-lined mouth rather than a bottom tilting one. Uh, thread fins are gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Uh, Amanda Zimber on the other side, small fish as opposed to an 8 or 12. These guys are more like about three quarters of an inch. So nice little firecracker for your uh, nano tank and on the Tetra Special. Here we have some more dwarf rummies. We had the royal blues. Here's some powder blues. Got a little bit of red in them more so than your average powder blue, but still good looking fish. Also got a couple more bettas in this order. I'm not going to look at uh, <laughs> Lots of cool bettas in stock right now. One all by himself. This is an electric blue jack MC. We don't bring in a lot of these guys because they're subject to failure to thrive. But if you do them one at a time, I find that they do tend to do pretty good. Uh, gorgeous fish. Uh, get pretty good sized if you're lucky. Sunset honey dwarf grommy. Another grommy for the, of the dwarf persuasion. They come in smaller and mixed groups. But the sunset honey dwarfs are definitely, for good reason, one of our most popular. Here's another quarry. These are albino quarries. Those are... Ania Cori's, but an albino version. And let's see, itty bitty fish. What are they? Red neon rainbows. Kind of washed out in the bag, but the red neon rainbows are perhaps our most popular pseudomogul or your dwarf uh, rainbow type. Uh, not a dwarf fish at all. This is a giant fish in the making, though very small individual in the bag. A uh, little tiny baby silver arowana. We haven't got one that small in a little while. Let's see if we can get some size on that guy. Remember, four foot fish, at least three feet. Next up is a six banded Deskiotis, tiny little guy. Again, another big fish. He'll get about 12, even 16 inches. Big African charson, believe it or not, in the Tetra family. Uh, next up is some Pictus cats. Pictus cats are uh, another bigger fish, six inches plus. They do schooling pretty good if you got the space for them, though they tend to eat small fish as they get bigger. So be careful about what you pair those with. And we're back. Right, let's see what else we got. Should have some feeders. Got um, I think we got a few glowfish, maybe some shrimp. Got all kinds of fun stuff. First thing out of the bag is indeed feeders. These are comets. Uh, restock on those guys. Got some shrimp. That looks like a mono shrimp. Regular sized monos. Got a couple of sizes on the monos today. At least I should. Yep, there they are. Extra large monos. Been very popular. Very cool. Happy to have three sizes of a mono shrimp, and that doesn't mean three types. Those are all the same type, just babies, mid-sized, and adult. Uh, blue shrimp, where you stock on those as well. Always happy to have lots of blue shrimp because they're always popular. And orange shrimp have been very popular. Maybe getting ready for the pumpkin latte season. Uh, pumpkin latte shrimp, there you go. And got to have them, got a bunch of ghost shrimp also. I've been keeping a good stock on our ghost shrimp. Some people use them for feeders, some people use them for cleaners. I think the Amanos are better suited for that, but you know, eat your own. They are inexpensive and they're kind of cool because they get pretty big and they are actually breedable in the tank but where Amanos aren't, but the Amanos do a better job. 
Uh, next up, a uh, very, very cool little fish. This is a hill stream loach, go along with those reticulated. These are a smaller one, though. Uh, barely see them in there. Those are striped panda loaches. Very cute little guys. Keep that really bright color when they're little. Still handsome when they're bigger. Uh, next up is some guppies. Looks like I ordered 12 and they sent me four. So that's four snakeskin, yellow snakeskin guppies. Guppies have been a little bit hard lately. I don't know why, but we've been having a hard time getting good ones. Uh, something we haven't had in a minute or two. These are baby Oscars. Don't usually keep a large stock on Oscars just because they're a fish that has kind of outsized popularity for the size tank people try to put them in. They try to put them in their 20s or their 30s. And these are like a 14 inch, 17 inch fish. They get really big. So if you don't have that 200 gallon tank, please don't get an Oscar. Uh, but if you do, they're a great fish. And we have some. Um, next up, we have some snails. I believe those are red spotted nearites. You'll see those in the tank. And then got a whole bag full of pea puffers. Have not been able to get pea puffers in a couple months. So happy to be able to restock those today. A uh, nice tiny batch of pea puffers. They get about an inch, so those are really tiny, uh, but they will get an inch. Here we have some feeder guppies. Go along with our feeder comets. And here's some not guppies. They look like guppies, but they're not. These are endlers. I forget, they called them a ruby stripe endler or something like that. Lots of different names on endlers. All of them uh, kind of a dwarf guppy. Uh, speaking of guppies, there are guppies in here. These are the blue guppies, blue neons. And albino dwarf frogs. Restock on those guys. Been going through a lot of those guys, and they've been available, so get yours while they are still in season. Uh, next up is more guppies, even. Nice red flamingo guppies to go along with those blue neons. And here's some really beautiful yellow-tailed ones. These are like the German yellows. Very nice. Our last batch we got on those flew out of here. It's a very cool fish. And last two bags is more guppies. Restock a lot of different types of guppies this week because, our, well, because we could. And you guys have been demanding it, so here they are. And speaking of which, restock on glowfish, angelfish. Um, really striking uh, if you get past the fact that they're a manufactured fish they are really quite impressive and that is it for this week's fish order thanks guys